The way we look at our oceans and coastlines has completely changed in recent years. Operational oceanography is revolutionizing our study of the sea. The Balearic Islands are home to SOSIB, a world-class monitoring center focusing on the Western Mediterranean. The center is applying new methods and techniques to the study of the ocean. Today's technology equips researchers with a state-of-the-art toolkit to tackle new scientific challenges. SOSIB responds to a paradigm change in the observations of the oceans, an observation that has been centered until now on uh, a single platform, the oceanographic ships, to an observation that is now centered on multi-platform observing systems. All those platforms uh, transferring data, data that are available in real time and quasi-controlled for both science and society. Each and every second, a range of instruments are monitoring the ocean's heartbeat. Fixed stations, drifting buoys, underwater gliders, radars and satellites all provide the scientists with a constant stream of real-time information. This information is essential in understanding variations in climate and predicting the transformations of a system that is constantly changing. The oceans and the atmosphere are complex systems that interact in a very wide range of spatial and temporal scales. And SOTHIB objective is precisely this one, is precisely to establish the present day weather in the ocean and its variability tomorrow. Underwater gliders present an innovative way of looking at underwater environments and are the cornerstone of the latest monitoring systems. A quiet revolution is, is taking place in ocean observations. Um, during the last uh, 10 years, in the last decade, uh, new ocean observatories have been set up in countries around the world that have uh, coastlines of, of economic and strategic importance. The underwater gliders are capable of navigating autonomously, feeding back data about tides, currents and temperature. This gives the researchers unprecedented access to the sea's most inaccessible parts for periods of several days at a time, a technological feat that is yielding all important results. Para llegar al punto de que esa tecnología sea robusta y pueda descender a 1000 metros de profundidad y trabajar durante 60 días seguidos sin tener fallos críticos ha costado mucho de conseguir. The information collected by the SOSIB devices is collected in the data center, where it is analyzed, archived, and made available to the public. Ahora mismo tenemos más de 50 drifters, que son boyas que, que se desplazan a la superficie del mar, y cada poco, cada hora, tenemos nuevos datos que, que nos llegan en tiempo real, que sean de glider, de drifter. De, de satélite e incluso ahora de, de tortugas que nos indican su, su posición y, y otras cosas como la temperatura del mar. The entire monitoring system relies on equipment that requires constant maintenance. It takes a busy team of divers and engineers to keep it all in good working order. Toda la tecnología suele dar problemas, pero toda la tecnología que está en contacto con el medio marino da muchísimos problemas. Entonces es un continuo no parar de, de instalar cosas, mantener y que haya un problema y a continuación vuelves a, en cuanto tiene solución a los problemas te aparecen por otros sitios otros problemas y bueno. One of SOSIB's goals is to predict future changes in the marine environment. Thanks to the data collected, scientists have been able to generate unprecedented models and projections. The numerical models are very important today for us because they allow us to represent the, the full volume of the ocean and the entire evolution uh, in time. We cannot observe any point and uh, any variables at any time in the ocean. So we have to rely on the models to represent uh, what we cannot observe. All this work has one objective spreading this information beyond the scientific community and into the general public, offering a tool for managing coastal maritime environments 
that ultimately benefits all of society. Responding to oil spills. Flothers of jellyfish. Rescue at sea. Or anticipating riptides powerful enough to drain an entire port like Ciutadella before generating a huge destructive surge. These are but a few of SOSIB's missions. Being able to respond to these sorts of natural phenomena within a day's notice will help policymakers manage coasts, climate, and marine resources. At the end of the day, their efforts lead us one step closer to the successful preservation of our seas and oceans.